Hi, my name is Newell Davis with World Composting, and today we're going to do an update on our bin two. This is the one that we started fresh after a harvest, and it had a layer of paper in the bottom, and then we added the excess material that didn't get sorted through the sorter to the top. And we, I think we did a feeding last time too, uh, or I should say, we, this is the third update, so we did a feeding the middle uh, update. So now it's time for probably, I'm sure, another feeding because it's been about uh, 15 days since our last update, and I'm sure it might need new bedding and it might need moisture, I don't know, we're gonna see, because it's been a while since I've checked and it's really hard to know at the beginning of a bin what it's going to need and what it's not gonna need. So let's go and take a look. All right, here's our bin two. I marked the today's date of 8-9-2020. And this is only gonna be our third update of this bin since we redid it and added new bedding. So let's open this up, take a look and see how it's doing. So first off, moisture. Moisture looks pretty good, a little bit of water on the lid, not too much couple mites in here that I'm seeing crawling around. Those are, they're hard to see, um, but they're, they're on there. So that's not too bad. It means it's a little bit moist maybe, but not too much. So I see um, I've got some plants growing in here. So I don't know what kind of plants those are, but let's just take a look here and see if we can pull them up. It doesn't look like they made it, but we do have some plants in here. Look at this. It almost look like mushrooms kind of, but it looks like they are kind of sickly and dying. So I don't know what kind of seeds these were that were in here, but they're, they're, not, they're not making it luckily. So we can actually just plow those right back in and it's not a big deal. Uh, this is a very common thing to have happen. Let me just shift this out a little bit here so you can see a little better. This is, this is very common to have growth in a bin. I've had this multiple times, especially with pumpkins. I almost always get, if I throw in a pumpkin, I, I'll get the seeds sprouting like crazy. And it's sort of better to do that, have that happen in the bin than when you go to use your castings. So let's just take a quick look here. So I see lots of worms in this material. We've got the cardboard in the bottom. I'm just trying to dig down in here a little bit. It looks like the cardboard is not getting worked on quite as much as the, uh, the other material. But I am seeing healthy worms here in the bedding. It, looks, it feels a little damp. But you know what? I think it needs to be mixed a little bit. I see lots of worms in the top here. You, know, you can see these healthy worms right here. So there's plenty of worms. And they actually, maybe they are starting to work into the paper a little bit. But it looks like the paper is kind of stuck down here at the bottom. Sorry that you can hear my dog there. So that looks pretty healthy overall. You can see that it really is layering though, which I don't, I don't like. See right now the paper's on the bottom and this the cocoa choir, whatever I put on top is there, but I really need this to kind of be blended in. I really should be mixing it up a little bit more. So that way it's, it's all kind of mixed together and that's gonna prevent compaction. The idea of having these different, you know, types of materials within each other is gonna prevent that compaction. So I'm gonna actually mix this up a little bit. I think that's gonna help it out a lot. Cause I think what's happening is you have this layer on the bottom of paper and it's becoming compact and then you have the layer on top and they're sort of separating, which isn't really good. You really want this to sort of be mixed up together and that way everything kind of works together. Actually, it looks like this is a chunk of food right here almost on top. Looks like this is some leftover food from last time. Probably banana peels. If I had to guess, actually, yep, right there. There's the, uh, there's the end of the banana peel. So that's definitely a banana peel. Lots of worms on there. They love banana peels. So we're gonna put that right over there in that corner just for now. We're gonna just kind of dig up under here, mix this all together. There we go. I think that looks a little better, a little healthier. You know, it's, it's not really great to have that those things separated. I just think that this looks a lot better. There we go. I'm gonna grab these food pieces that are left over. I'm gonna bury them in this corner over here. Since we're moving everything around, we can kind of dig wherever we want and bury food now. And I think I'm gonna do it on this end over here. We're not gonna need any paper. There's plenty of bedding in here. Moisture's not too high or too low, really. So I think we're okay on moisture. So for this feeding, I uh, built a 3D printed shredder. And this is going to get some of my shredded food that went through the shredder. So just so you can see in here, I think. So you can see this is the type of food it's going to be getting. So we're going to add quite a bit in here because this is a lot of watermelon. And watermelon tends to dissolve quickly in these bins. This is not frozen, by the way. And there are some seeds in there. 
Those are from Peppers. It's gonna be a mixture of food, but that's fine. It's even a banana in there again. But this is gonna be a lot of watermelon. Watermelon tends to shrink down really quickly. It also does add a lot of moisture, so I think we might add a little bedding on top, now that I think about it. So, we're gonna add quite a bit of food here because of the watermelon. There we go. Put the bucket down. I'm gonna grab a little bit of paper to put in here. And I keep buckets of this. When I'm doing this, I keep buckets around my bins with all this stuff ready to go, because it's just a lot easier than having, uh, having to search around for it. So I get everything ready beforehand. And then we get it going. Okay, I'm not gonna add any water. And I didn't also add any crushed eggshell or anything. There's probably quite a bit in here from the last time. And I don't think it's really necessary, but I am gonna throw some of this on top, just to kind of create a barrier. And also that way the worms can kind of dig down in. So they'll, they'll dig down into this. We're gonna almost create a trench here really with, in the middle, but that's okay. We're just gonna bury this, make sure it's buried really well. They're gonna work their way through it. The next feeding will probably be in the center here. And in the meantime, let me grab a cloth that I can put on top here. And that way we can sort of mark where this is. So this is one of the things I'm starting to do with all my bins is uh, have a marking. So that way you know where you fed last. And I know a lot of people do this, and I think I mentioned this in my other videos, but it is important to know where you fed. So let me just grab this piece, right like this. And this is just a standard white shirt. You can use a piece of newspaper or something else if you'd like. This is just gonna be my way of marking it. So overall, this is starting to look good. There's a lot of worms in here, especially from the last time. Uh, there, there was still a lot, lot in here and they look healthy. Uh, the food was still there just a little bit, but we're gonna add more and we'll see how this goes. So, you know, it, we'll probably try to come back a little bit sooner than uh, last time. So I hope you enjoyed this update. Thank you for watching. Please remember, I do have Amazon links at the bottom to purchase items. If you could really click on those, if you're looking to make a purchase for composting or something else, if you can click on those links, that'd be really helpful to me. So thank you for watching.